This video will show you how to examine an obstetric patient. In this video, we will demonstrate the following. Firstly, uterine fundal palpation. Secondly, the Leopold's maneuvers. Lastly, escultation of the fetal heartbeat. We will also be showing you how to present your findings in an obstetric examination. Let us see how to examine an obstetric patient. The first thing is the position. Ensure that the patient is laying in a supine position with her knees slightly bent if necessary. Then, expose her from the syphilis sternum to the pubic symphysis. Ensure that your hands are clean and warm. The first thing you have to do is to measure the symphysial fundal height. You should be facing the patient's face. For this, we need to feel the uterine fundus. To feel the uterine fundus, you use the ulnar surface of your palm and start from the syphilis sternum and slowly work your way down. Stop when your hand meets the first point of resistance. That point is your fundus. Now, use your tape measure. Keep the centimeter side away from you to avoid bias. Now feel the pubic symphysis. You may have to warn the mother at this point because it may be a bit uncomfortable when you press on the pubic symphysis. You can measure right up to the pubic symphysis and flip your tape. So that shows 36 centimeters, isn't it? We know that this lady's 36 weeks, so this corresponds to the fetus's gestational age. Now, let's move on to the Leopold's maneuvers. Let us do the first maneuver. The first maneuver is used to find out what is presenting in the fundal region. Use the palm of both your hands and feel. What are you feeling now? I feel a smooth, firm surface. This moves with the rest of the fetal body, so this likely corresponds to the baby's bump. The first maneuver helps to establish the fetal lie, if the fetus is in cephalic or breech presentation. Now let us do the second maneuver. Use one hand to stabilize the uterus and use your other hand to feel from the top right down to the pubic symphysis. What are you feeling there? I can feel multiple small and hard knobbly parts. This could correspond to the fetal limbs. Now stabilize that hand and use your other hand to feel, beginning from the top to the bottom. What do you think you're feeling now? I feel a smooth continuous surface and this would likely correspond to the fetal back. This is correct. The second maneuver helps us to identify the fetal back while establishing if the fetus is in a longitudinal lie. Let us go on to the third maneuver. For the third maneuver, you have to open your hand as wide as you can and just above the pubic symphysis, gently grab and gently rock. You may have to warn the mother again that this can be painful. So what do you feel now? I now feel a smooth but hard surface. This is likely to be the fetal head. This makes sense because we felt the baby's bottom at the top so you would expect to feel the baby's head as a presenting part. Indeed, the head of the fetus is often hard, round and smooth. It is of uniform consistency and it tends to be mobile. The third maneuver defines which part of the fetus is presenting. It also helps to confirm what we have seen in the first maneuver as we have seen in this case. Now, let's move on to the fourth maneuver. For this, you have to turn the other way around and face the patient's feet. Use both your hands and feel just above the pubic symphysis. What do you feel now? My fingers are unable to meet each other below the presenting part. However, I can feel most of the fetal head, so this is likely to be 4 fifth palpable. Indeed, this also confirms that it is a head when you feel it. Your fourth maneuver confirms what you have seen in the third maneuver, and it helps us to work out how far the baby's head has gone into the pelvis. When your hands meet underneath the presenting part, it is 5 fifth palpable. 
As you said, when you feel most of the presenting part, but your hands are still not meeting down, then it is four-fifth palpable. If it is three-fifth palpable, you will feel equal amount of head on both sides. If you feel the head on one side and not on the other side, it is one-fifth palpable. If you do not feel anything at all, it is zero-fifth palpable. The fourth maneuver helps the examiner identify the presenting part in the lower uterine pole. We can present this information using the fifth method that we have elaborated on earlier. Now, let us move on to auscultating the fetal heart. Given that the fetus is in a cephalic presentation and the fetal back is on the maternal right, I will listen to the fetal heart. I will locate it using the Doppler ultrasound probe. I will confirm it's on the right and below the umbilicus. When the fetal heart has been located, there should be a galloping sound and the fetal heart rate should appear on the monitor. A normal fetal heart rate is between 110 to 150 beats per minute. Yes, the fetal heart rate is around 150 beats per minute. How would you like to summarize your findings? In summary, my obstetric examination reveals a longitudinal distended gravid uterus and the symphyseal fundal height is about 36 centimeters, which corresponds to the fetal gestational age. The fetus is in a longitudinal lie and in cephalic presentation and the head is about four-fifth palpable. The fetal heart rate can be picked up at about 150 beats per minute. So this is how you would summarize an obstetric examination. Quiz time. Question 1. What does the second maneuver aim to achieve? Question 2. During the fourth maneuver, if you are able to feel most of the fetal head, but your fingers are unable to meet totally, how many fifths palpable is this? <laughs>